All right, that's good. Yeah, so back in the day, people used to go to comic book shops every single Wednesday looking for the most comic book, yeah, the comic book for their most recent beloved series. People are not doing that anymore. And many people have been asking the question, why has the comic book industry been failing? Is it because we are in a digital age? Is it because everybody's ordering on, on, everything online? Or is it because people are just not going out to physical comic book stores anymore to buy physical books? Well, one of the main first reasons is the comic industry has been hiring writers that focus on political messaging rather than telling a great story. And according to an article by Avi Green of The Fool, he made an analogy that suddenly morphing an iconic type of character into an unfamiliar identity is like replacing the, like Thanksgiving pumpkin pie with goat's milk yogurt. So, and here are some examples of iconic characters being changed for no reason and nobody knows why. And here to the left, you can see Joker is now pregnant in the comic books. And even though it's not biologically possible at all, and to the right you see Superman's son protesting about climate change. It's as there's a monster in the background attacking everybody, and he's just not doing anything heroic about it. And who are these writers, you may ask? The writers are now talking down to consumers and banning them for, for not agreeing with their writing. And some examples of this is according to Ross Gallery of Anime Independent, he brought up and discussed about the I'm Not a Starfire series that came out back in 2021. And he said that it was one of the latest in a long line of books to suffer derision because DC went so far as to turn off replies to the announcement because they did not want to hear any sort of negativity towards this announcement because a lot of people didn't like it. And he also discussed about the Aquaman writer, Kelly Sue Deconic. And in the interview, she said, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. And this led to an immediate decline in her Aquaman series, leading to her series being canceled um, halfway in its run before the story is even complete. And people are tired of reading this stuff and having writers and DC themselves banning them for no reason. So they're looking for other outlets. And the other outlet that they're fleeing to, to buy, and now they are buying manga. And in case we don't know what manga is, it's Japanese comics. So consumers are now shifting towards manga because Japanese writers focus on telling audiences a great story rather than lecturing them about their politics and viewpoints. And, and so, and here's our simple examples. Manga stories are always fresh and exciting to people. And manga is known to be drawn with an effort, according to AJ Martinez. And he discusses how illustrations of manga books continue to shine while American comics and shows are cheaping out. And then here are two examples of um, below showing the major differences between manga and Marvel's current illustrations. As you can see to the left, you see Demon Slayer. It's very detailed. And even though there's no color in it, it's like you can see all of the detail in the eyes, everything, the structures. As you see to the, to the right, you can see Captain Marvel very undetailed and then the drawing just looks cheap. And just, it's just for audiences are just tired of buying this stuff. And then some just statistics to prove this, um, that the manga is skyrocketing and hurting American comic sales. Based on these statistics provided by Abe Soul of Comic Vine, he stated that Demon Slayer back in 2020 outsold the majority of the American comic sales by millions of dollars. And as you can see on Wolverine right there, only sold an estimated around less than $200,000 in net sales, while Demon Slayer, um, the Demon Slayer series of volume 18 sold over $4 million in net profit sales for just that one volume alone in the same month. So, and also the last reason for what's really affecting the comic industry is that more audiences are now turning into watching comic book films and adaptations of shows rather than actually reading comics. Comic book films and television shows tend to have a massive following, but the question is, why are these adaptations helping the comic industry from declining? So, so yeah, and then, 
And then the re one of the other reasons is that films appeal to more people than physical comic books. And according to this is the part I need to edit out. <laughs> So according to Melissa Moss from PSU, she brought up a statement made by Matthew McAllister at her school, and he stated that special effects really enhance the look of superpowers and spectacular feats, which combine with significant action and clear archetypes of heroes. So and basically what he was trying to say is that a lot of people who are global audiences are tuning into films because they're cool special effects and action sequences, and a lot more people would rather do that than be comic books. And these are two examples of really big films that made a ton more money at the box office rather than um, people actually tuning the comics. And then also, watching comic film ad adaptations have been known to be cheaper and save more time, according to a lot of consumers. And according to Sean Rothwell from Level Up Entertainment, he brought up the argument over Wonder Woman and about how the film back in 2017 had over 44 estimated million people sit in the movie theater and actually see the movie rather than actually buying comic books because their comic book series only sold an estimated around $87,000 in its entire comic book run during the same time as the, the, the movie was at the theater. So in conclusion, the comic book industry has been failing for various reasons due to political um, aspects being given by their writers and leading to audiences fleeing towards other markets of manga because Japanese writers want to tell great stories and tell their audiences that all the masterpiece works without lecturing them. And a lot more audiences nowadays tend to want to watch comic book films and relax and say just tend to want to watch comic book films and relax and save some money and just sit down, watch a movie instead of rather going out to a physical store and buying books.